Hello, welcome to another Only Figure Fans video. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do like a blog style video, kind of. I just wanna share the haul that I got from Toy The Jour today. So today it was a beautiful day in Chicago and I decided to go out because it was such a beautiful day. And I went out to buy some figgies. And I went to Toy The Jour located at Logan Square, Chicago. So Toy the Jour is a collectible store where they sell loose figures, they also sell carded figures, they sell new figures, but they also sell old vintage figures. And it's it's nice to take a break from all the Target runs, all the Walmart runs to go to a place where I can just go and buy action figures that are in stock. So I went today just i wanted to grab one or two figures but i ended up grabbing like 10 so i wanted to show him off so i'm gonna start with star wars first the only black series figure i got was the ray from galaxy's edge she has the same it's the same figure that came with the last jedi line but uh, i didn't know they released a version where she had the photo reel deco I just wanted to grab one to have next to Kylo and they both have the photo reel now so it looks pretty cool. After that I got three three and three quarter figures. I got a carded Dark Empire Luke. I already have this figure carded but I want one to open and I'm gonna open it and it has the little background in the back so I can take pics with it. So one of my favorite lines in that Star Wars has done is the expanded universe power of the force figures i have i think most of them i just need to get the carded dark trooper the next figure i got for the three and three quarters was the darth maul with his old master outfit from rebels it's a it has five points of articulation and I think I'm gonna take a Kenobi and Maul picture in the future with this one. I'm gonna try to combine scales from six inch to three and three quarter. Kenobi! And for the last Star Wars three and three quarter figure that I got, it's a Kit Fisto from the 2003 Realistic Clone Wars line. Also another one of my favorite lines that Star Wars figures have done. Uh, I just like the realistic 2003 deco for the Clone Wars figures. They have a couple more and I might go out and look for them. I really want the Anakin and the Obi-Wan. And that's it for my 3 and 3 quarter figures. I also got my the last couple Star Wars figures that I got were surprisingly Burger King figures, uh, Burger King toys. So when Revenge of the Sith came out, I was obsessed with these Happy Meal toys, especially the Luke one that I never got. So I'm really happy to say that I finally achieved my dream in 2005 of getting the Luke Skywalker <laughs> Happy Meal toy. And uh, I have it now. <laughs> uh, I also got the Darth Vader that has Anakin inside. That was one of my favorite toys growing up. So I just had to get one. So that ends the Star Wars portion of this haul. Uh, aside from the Star Wars figures, I got my first two Toy Biz figures based on the Lord of the Rings movies. I just got, there was a lot of them and I was like, Ugh, don't grab them all, don't grab them all because I was about to grab them all. But I just got Aragorn and Frodo. They don't have the best articulation and Frodo is really hard to stand up, but there's, they still look really cool and it's fun to have Lord of the Rings figures. And for the last figure that I got, I got the, it's my first vintage Kenner figure from the Alien line. So it's uh, Sergeant Drake. If I see any more of these, I'll probably pick them up. Like if I see Hicks or Ripley, I'll for sure pick them up because they, they look really cool. Like I've seen pictures of them, but it's the first time I see one in person. And I'm like, oh, instant buy. If I see Hicks or Ripley around or Hudson, if they have a Hudson figure, that's going to be an instant cop for me. 
So this was my uh, short little haul at Toy Du Jour. Please check them out if you're near Chicago. So it's a pretty nice, relatively large toy store with a nice variety of like action figures, toys. They have a huge selection of new carded figures if you're a fan of like Black Series or anything else. And they also have a huge selection of loose figures. And now that I know that I live really close to this place, I'm probably gonna go there once a week and spend all my money there. The people that were working there were extremely nice and it was a great experience. So check out Toy the Jeweler. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video today. I know it was a little bit different. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably gonna release a OT Customs video showcase. I'm gonna be showcasing the OT Customs Mandalorian helmet, and then I'm also gonna be showcasing the OT Customs Mandalorian Luke Skywalker robe set. It comes with the belt, the tunic, and the robes. So check that video out tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful day, okay? Thank you.